right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it in the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but the same reach. We set it inside Ladies the octagon. And gentlemen, Bruce this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds. Golden. And now we produce his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. They touch him up, and we are underway. is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Beautiful strike. Changes his stance. Punch coming, it's blocked. This guy's throwing early. Takedown defense holds up. In the clinch, you can pull it down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Big kick lands. Just out of range with that left hook. 
Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Got a clip with the right hand. That was stuck in. Nice right. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kick. Big kick. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big head kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, straight right. Make the bad man stop. Nice defense there, huge block. Punch over top. Slips. Left hand counter. He is all about that left kick to the body. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. That punch no good. And he lands the knee to the body now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That shot is blocked by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Strong straight left there. Can't take many of those, you better check. Lunges forward with a left there. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Look at him with his hips to that kick. He's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, what a punch.
Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Big body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Big leg kick land. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Ooh, head kick lands the turf. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Real sneaky body kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And they step. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee, what a right hand by this young man. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Nice knee to the midsection there. He blocks the punch. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And they separate. Continues to mix it up then with the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into the side. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big head kick. Oh, straight right. Fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Lee's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he gets the ball, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? If try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Back to the feet now. Big leg kick land. Throwing that jab, no good. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. 
and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Let him go. Let those hands go. Nice loop and punch. They continue to exchange. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Nice leg kick lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Real quick leg kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big kick. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. That knee, that knee hurt him. He got him. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. And now he lands a combination. Oh, straight right. Straight right, he misses. Improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, big punch land. He lands the head kick. Wow. Another big head kick land. Just out of range with that right hook. Got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, nice. Able to check the high kick. Right under the elbow. Oh, my Great punch, man. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, ten seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.
there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. 